My name is Mark Diggins. I am the coordinator of the Scottish Avalanche Information Service. And today I'm just going to go through how to interpret snow profiles. The snow profiles can be found by going to the bottom of the Avalanche Report page. More detailed information can also be found here in the PDF, which you can download. The snow profile um, out in the field really only provides us with a small amount of information, typically 10 to 20 percent of our hazard evaluation for that day will be determined by what we find in the snow profile. Our next objective is to travel around the landscape so that we go to different altitudes, different aspects, so we can really get a pretty good idea of how instabilities are distributed. The snow profile is carried out in a location that represents what is the most unstable snowpack. Of course, we go to a safe place. It might be a very small slope, but it is very representative of where we think the worst place is. In order to determine the location, we will look at the latest or the overnight situation, where the wind's been blowing from, where the new snow has been deposited, or we may be looking for something that we've already identified. So there may be a weak layer that we want to go and investigate, and we just want to see how that layer is developing. In terms of what is presented in the snow profile on the website, we have two main sections. We have the section which is data, which involves obviously the snow profile location, the data at the snow profile site, which is here, which is the wind direction and whether it's drifting or not at that actual place. And we also have summit data, which is um, usually the highest point or the highest weather station in that area. Below, we have the profile data. And on the right, we have a diagrammatic representation of the snow from the surface right down to usually the ground or certainly the most, the hardest layer, the most solid layer that we can get to. This grey shaded is the hardness layers and you'll see this little icon here which um, is a soft layer overlain by a hard layer. Now certainly if it's two levels of hardness then that's when we have an indication that there is potentially a weak snowpack. You can see the hardness here. This is a knife hardness. This is pencil. This is representation here, representation here of a one finger hardness. So here we have a knife hardness overlaying a one finger hardness. We also have on another profile an example and here we have a temperature gradient which is greater than one degree per 10 centimeters and again there's a little information icon which um, it will indicate there's poorly bonded grains may develop or are present in snowpack layers. On the left hand side we have um, we've got obviously the, the layers but more detail in terms of the depth the comments in terms of um, if we noticed anything failing in the, these interfaces here. And we've got the crystal type, uh, another column for another crystal type. We have the size of the grains, we have the hardness, and then we have the wetness. More detailed information can be found by looking at the Interpreting Snow Profiles PDF, which can be found on the website www.sis.gov. Dot UK.